I graduated from college at uh, Emerson College in Boston and just started sending out tapes. That's I spent an entire summer after I graduated college. Uh, I had the kitchen table at the house stacked up floor to ceiling with old three quarter inch tapes and I just sent them out to all four corners of the globe hoping to get a job in television somewhere and uh, I got pretty lucky. I only had to do that for about two months. I ended up in Charlottesville, Virginia where I had my first TV job at uh, WVIR, uh, Dateline News, Channel 29. Dave Cup was my news director. I made $12,000 a year and I lived in a guy's closet and I loved it. I had a great time. And that was, uh, that was 30 years ago. So it's, it's been an amazing ride. Worked at a bunch of local stations in smaller markets and, and worked my way up to bigger places and worked at CNN for three years, worked at ESPN for about 13. And uh, I did Sports Center there, I did Baseball Tonight, and then I transitioned into play-by-play. -play. So I've been lucky enough to do a little bit of everything. But after a long time working uh, as a studio host, I wanted to make the transition. You want to get out of the studio and get to the, to the games where the real fun is. And for me, that meant a baseball stadium. And an opportunity came up with the Diamondbacks. And uh, the timing was right for me. I had just started doing some play-by-play -play, uh, for Major League Baseball at ESPN. Did some College World Series stuff. And uh, I was available, they had an opening, and I got lucky. And I, I can't imagine having a better job. It's the best spot there is in baseball, in my opinion. Baseball's always been my favorite. Uh, it's infinitely interesting to me. I find the other sports sometimes a little boring, frankly. But it's always been baseball for me. That's why I was thrilled to get the chance to work almost exclusively on baseball tonight, so I didn't have to worry about any other sport than baseball for eight months a year. So that was a great opportunity, and then it transitioned into this uh, chance here with the Diamondbacks. My favorite part of the job now is just showing up at the ballpark. Uh, I, when we're on the road, I love to walk from the hotel to the ballpark. I like to get there early. Uh, there's nothing better than an empty ballpark when you're preparing your materials and filling out your lineup cards and get everything set for the broadcast. That's a that for me is the best part during batting practice in the afternoon. That's when you're, you realize how lucky you are to be where you are. Uh, every time I meet young people who want to get into the business, I see two types of people. Most of them just want to be on TV. It doesn't matter if they're doing a, a food show, a travel show, a sports show. They're happy just to be on television. And I always tell people, don't be that person. Uh, it's, a, it's a job, it's a craft, it's a skill. It has a specific skill set, and those skills need to be paid attention to. They need to be honed, they need to be refined, they need to be worked on. So work, that's, that's the best thing that I can tell anybody is work harder than the next guy because you're going to have to. Somebody once said there's never been an emergency baseball game. So while it's uh, very important and there are lives and careers at stake, um, it's still just sports, it's still just baseball, you should always have fun.